Hi and welcome to the Forest of Arden. My name is Chris Ryan. Today in this video we're talking about your lower body action and very simply we're going to get you to think about how your belt buckle moves through the goal swing which is definitely going to help you you know use the lower body a little bit better, deliver the club with more power and more efficiency and I think ultimately get you to hit the ball a little bit further. So we're talking about as I said the belt buckle and we're going to look at how it moves through the goal swing going to give you three things that you can focus on, something in the backswing, something as you transition into the down thing, and something as you go through to impact. And it's really just an idea or a concept which is going to get us to, to as I say, move the legs a little bit better. Now, when we look at the 3D data, we have a lot more in-depth look at what the hips do. We're going to sort of simplify that down in this video, uh, and as I say, just give you some ideas on what you might be able to do during practice. So the first thing I would really encourage golfers to do, and especially when we're hitting the longer clubs, as you can see I've got the driver in my hand here, is really have an unrestricted hip turn going back. Really allow those hips to rotate a little bit more than maybe what we perceive we should do. So the first thing we're going to really get you to do is just think about where your belt would be at starting position. Now, we're in the UK, it's a little bit cold, I've got to have my jumper on, I've got a belt on, it's under there so we can't see it, but we can imagine where that belt would be. So it's going to point at set up pretty much out down towards the golf ball. So the first thing I want you to really do is just allow the belt to rotate very much more what you feel is over your trail foot. So as I make my backswing, I feel as if I allow this belt buckle to point more over my trail foot. That's going to ensure that I've got a good amount of rotation in those hips. What we should see is an angle in those hips where my trail hip should be slightly higher. We should see the trail leg lose a little bit of flex as the lead leg increases in a little bit of flex. So many golfers I see still try and resist what the legs are doing, feel, and that's a great way to create power. For me, that's not going to create as much energy, as much power, as if we allow those hips to turn freely in the backswing as we've described. So, my belt buckle points over my trail foot. There's our first point. Once we've made that move back, we can start to think about how we transition to the downswing. Now, this is where it's going to get a little bit more complicated. What I want you to feel that you do is that you move your belt buckle back to where it started. So that was back pointing towards the golf ball but it very, very slightly lowers. So what would that look like? Well, if I take my starting position, I'm gonna allow that free hip turn. I'm now gonna turn it back to where it started, but I feel like I've lowered it a touch. What you're gonna see that does from the down the line is it starts to give my body a tiny bit more flex. Show you again. So we start here, rotate it back, and slightly lower it. I now feel very, very loaded. I feel very, very stacked over the golf ball. I feel like my legs are ready to extend. I feel like I've got a good amount of angle in my body. I'm now in a fantastic position to deliver the golf club. So many of you who struggle with your lower body action may well see if you video your golf swing that from the top, as you start to rotate towards the target, you're already starting to extend the body. You're already starting to gain some height. And whilst you might get the belt buckle back pointing roughly towards the golf ball, the pelvis certainly doesn't lower. And it's something we would tend to see with a lot of the golfers who play this game to an exceptionally high level, is we will see in the downswing a rotation of the pelvis, but also a slight lowering of the pelvis. They start to unweight their bodies, we call it. It's a great way to generate some power. So, once we have made that move, and we've got ourselves back to where we started, but the pelvis is a touch lower, we can now start to think about what the belt buckle is going to do through the ball. I want you to now focus on turning the belt buckle towards the target, down this direction, but now getting it to raise. So as I turn through, I'm going to rotate it and raise it. So as you can see, when I finish my golf swing, my belt buckle is much higher than it was during that second little phase, and it was rotated towards the target. So three movements that we can focus on with our belt buckle, which is ultimately really just thinking about what the hips and the pelvis do, but they're a great way to efficiently use the lower body, efficiently use the ground, and rotate those hips in the correct way. So just quickly run through that once more. Backswing, we're gonna rotate the belt over the trail foot. Number two is we're gonna lower it and point it back to where it was at the start. And number three is we're going to rotate it towards the target and raise it up. Now hopefully, I'm gonna be able to demonstrate all those movements in this goal thing. So we're on the 17th hole here at the Forest of Arts, par five, so I could do with a good drive. Probably just missing the fairway on the right, that one, but not a bad swing. I'll take it, felt pretty good for the club face, just didn't quite have the club face quite in the right position. Anyway, hopefully that helps. 
pelvis, lower body, belt buckle, think about how that's moving. I definitely think it's going to give you some more power. More power means more distance, more distance means lower scores, and definitely more fun if you can hit the ball past your playing partners. Thank you for watching. Usual stuff is down below. Comments box, like button, and also a link to subscribe to the channel if you're not a subscriber. Thank you for watching, and we shall see you back here again soon.